So for the tricks class, we can also work on get in. So go in the thing. So we talk a lot in, about hula hoops in these classes. Um, I use them to demonstrate um, reinforcement zones, like where dogs are trained to do things, whether it's, <laughs> whether it's in front of you or next to you. Um, so we can actually teach the dog to go into the hula hoop. So hoop. Yes. So I can have them sit. If you have a larger dog, this might take a little bit of finagling. finagling. So I can take the treat, lure him in, and sit. And again, remember, if this is a shaky hula hoop, so cat touch, you can hear it. Some dogs are afraid of that sound. So if that's your dog, see if you, you can even like put a little hole in it and drain out all the beads so it's not making that sound. Um, I have had dogs in classes, I have some border collies actually, two in particular, that if there was a circle on the ground, they wouldn't go near it. Um, so I've had one dog that wouldn't go in a hoop. Another one, if I drew chalk, wouldn't go in the chalk. Um, so if you have that dog, that's okay. We have other options for you. We're not gonna force our dog if they're scared to try something like this. Um, but this kind of work is what starts to show you what might my dog be nervous of that I'm not aware of. So now we can talk about a box. Let's see if I can get Captain into a box. Okay, he can get in a box. Oh, <laughs> Captain likes the box. <laughs> Think he likes the box better than the hoop. So a box doesn't necessarily have to be a laundry basket or like a, a big box. This is just like a, a kind of a flap for carrying like large bags of potato chips or a snack food. Box. If I fit, I ship. Right, buddy? So this is one he's never done before. It's a little more narrow and it's got a higher side. So he might be really uncomfortable going into this box. So let's see how he does. We sometimes do this with swimming pools in class too. You might not want to bring one into your apartment or your house during your, your quarantine, but if you have like a, a plastic swimming pool, you can certainly do this in the backyard. Cap, in. He's like, wait a second. So I can put a cookie in here. And he's putting one foot, oh, two feet, good job. He's trying to figure out how to do this. Can you get it? Yes. He's got his back feet in, so I'm gonna reward him for that. This is actually, I didn't think he'd get this far. Can I get you to sit? Oh, good job. He's, hey. well done, hey -o. So he might not be able to sit very comfortably because of his tail. I'll try, I'm gonna keep an eye on him. Oh, good job. From here, shake. He's like, don't push it, bub. Is it pretty? So play around with this concept. Go to box. It's like, I like the box. So I can use the box as a reinforcement for going in here. So if your dog is like, oh, I don't know, I can reinforce him by going into this box, which he actually looks like he kind of owns this joint, doesn't he? <laughs> He's like lounging on it. So this is something that he prefers. This is something he was willing to do. He was tolerant of this, but he likes this. Being cognizant of what your dog likes and is tolerant of versus utterly terrified of and scared of, that can give you like a nice gradation to figure out where you need to focus your work and how to make these things uh, translatable for your dog. Like if I can go in this and I can go in this and I'm scared of that, well maybe I can get some chalk. Oh, we don't have it today. But if I had some chalk, I could draw maybe half of a circle here and see if I can get the dog to come up next to it. Maybe that, and then maybe do like a little quarter of a circle. Okay, maybe that was a little too much for that dog. So maybe I can erase some of this half and start to kind of shape it so the dog is like, oh, I can kind of go into that. That's not that scary. So breaking the scary things down into digestible pieces and really watching the dog. Are they scared or are they just blowing you off? Um, those are two different things. And if they're really scared, don't push it. If they're just kind of blowing you off, or if they're um, maybe like, I don't know, I'm a little uncomfortable. He's like, I was just reinforced for this. What happens if I get in it? Sit. Try again. In. <laughs> I don't fit in this. Good boy. I'm going to give him a couple cookies and really reinforce him for doing a good job. So play around with in this week and see how you do.